Hello guys, it's Niall here. Today I have another video on Windows 95 and I'm going to do my best to answer a question. Can you use it as your main OS in 2017? Now I know some of you are just going to instantly say, no, no, not possible. But that's very naive of you. You clearly haven't weighed up all the facts, which is something that I intend to do. So, first, to know if you can use something as your main OS, you need to see what you can do with your current OS. So for me, I use the internet, I go on social media, not much of it, but I still use it every now and again, so it needs to be able to do that. YouTube counts as social media, and I use that a lot, so that's why I have to say that. I check the news, headlines, and I browse the web, you know, I surf the internet, Google stuff I'm not sure about. Then I use it for productivity, so spreadsheets to keep track of everything, word processor, I need Word so I can write so I can write up plans to my YouTube videos for a start. And I need and that's another thing, I need editing software, I need to be able to merge clips on it. I and so it needs to be able to keep up with that. And I need to have a slideshow viewer so I can also plan YouTube videos using that if I need images and stuff like that. Another thing I like to have is command prompt. Just It's just there if you need to do anything directly, like using commands. And we'll see what else pops up. So first thing is internet now. The latest browser, I think I have Internet Explorer 3, 4 running on here. It won't, it won't run anything like modern Firefox version. So, I mean, if you just want it, surf the web, Google search thing, you'll be fine. And you might be able to load up a few new sites, but... You'll be open to viruses, so I wouldn't recommend it, so I'm going to... I won't give it that point, because it's not the best. And it has to be on dial-up, unless you've got an adapter, which will be hard to get, and expensive, likely, because of the aforementioned reason. So, that one's a no. Now, productivity. 95 is actually the first version of Windows to feature a thing called WordPad. Accessories. Here we are. WordPad version 1.0. My this computer also came with um, Word 97 and there's edit function in the MS DOS prompt. So type in. I made a typo. And it won't let me. Okay. Okay. So that's productivity. So it can do a word processor. Spreadsheets, this computer itself came with Microsoft Money 97 built in, which is like an advanced version of Excel, I believe. And so there's obviously lots of software available for it, and I do apologise about the lines going on the screen. I'm back to my original monitor, there's nothing I can do about it. So, I'm going to give productivity the mark, it definitely can do that. So, video editing. Now I'm not so sure about that. I'm going to give that a potentially, because I've never tried it on here, I haven't got any software to try it. I've got things like Photo Driver where I can edit photographs, but nothing where I can actually edit the moving image. Things like merging clips. I'm sure there are software we can do it on. I know music editing is definitely, you can definitely do that. So I'm going to give that one a possibility. Now, I need a command prompt, you know, what's that? MS-DOS prompt comes built in with Windows 95. Type in, uh, we've got editor. And all sorts of it. Yes. So that one's a pass. Now, I know I have been promising to do an MS DOS video, and I promise you I will do one eventually. It's just getting around to it, learning all the commands, finding something to talk about. So, when you're saying, oh, this is MS DOS. Well done, Sherlock. So, what was the other things I need to be able to do? Emails. Yes, you can do that on here. As you can see here, I've got 
emails there. That's a pass. Now, you could do it if you was able to connect to dial-up. Connect it to dial-up or even get an adapter, so... Hmm, should I give that possibly or a pass? I'll give that one a possibly, because you can... Because you technically can do it, but... It's whether you want to use it dial-up, so... Files, fine, also compatibility. Generally, I mean, you need floppy disks or a compact disk, you know. Most C, most um, towers, computer towers, do have a CD drive built into them. And you can get USB CD drives and indeed floppy drives if you're on a laptop. Because most computers don't have floppy disks built in. So compatibility and it's WordPad, so yes, compatibility is fine. With that, you could send that, you could give somebody a CD with all the stuff on it, and it, they would be able to read it, I would imagine, unless they're using a less common word processor. So, judgment time. Can you use it as your main system? Now, that's actually a pretty tricky question to answer. I mean, it depends who you are. If you're really into the internet, you know, you don't do anything over the internet, no, probably not. Um, if you're a worker, you've got an office or something like that, I dare say you could, but again, it's, it's you might not be in compatibility. I know I gave that a mark, but it is old and outdated, and you probably want emails and networking, things like remote desktop access. You can't do that in 95. I mean, this is a pack of Bell Pulsar 20 from 1997. There is no way you're getting remote desktop upon that. It's never going to happen. So, if you're somebody at the same time who just uses it for work, you don't even care about the internet, you've got a printer, I don't see why not. I mean, I've not been really liking the most modern versions of Windows, I will admit that, and I think my favourite software is indeed between Windows XP and 95, so I've tried to keep this as unbiased as I can be, I hope you agree with that, please say in the comments if you think I'm not. Please do comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video which will likely be either MS-DOS or Commodore 64. Bye.